Stop it. How are you doing? Happy Wednesday. Let me try to get this tilted down so we can see what we're crafting here. I still have to figure out the best dimensions for this. This is a little bit tricky from this angle because you see all my mess behind me, but you're not necessarily seeing the craft that we're doing. So I'm not sure. I may have to like tilt this down so that we can see actually what is happening. But uh, do say hi as you are popping on. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm here outside of Toronto, Canada. It's a beautiful sunny Wednesday. I think we're finally warming up a little bit. So I wanted to come on and do some crafting, a little upcycling project with you today. Before I get started, as everybody's joining, hi there, hi everyone. I wanted to show you what we made last night. Look at this one. This was so pretty. We painted over on the Facebook page this really pretty um, jewelry box. It's a mess still on the inside. I haven't gotten to finish the inside yet. So that's, but it was all this dark, dark wood when we started. And then I painted it this creamy chalky paint color, applied a pretty um, applique, what is it? It's a rub-on transfer, this rose on the top. And then people said, let's do a crackle. So we did this crackle effect on the bottom, which was really, really fun. And I just love this piece. I'm going to, um, let me just see something here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here we go, perfect. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you this. These are the kind of crafts that we make. Uh, at Sustain My Craft Habit, I like to upcycle thrift store items. And so for today's project, I have this, I don't know, what would you call this? It's like a, a jug. Um, uh, what is in there? There's stuff in there. <laughs> I don't even know what's in there. Um, it's like a mason, no, mason jar, what am I saying? It's almost like a huge decorative milk jug, right? That's what it reminds me of. It's black, it's a metal. So I thought we could apply a cute uh, decal to the front of it. And then I have some branches and we could do a, some pine cone flowers. And the idea here is that this will sit on my front porch here at my home. So I've gone ahead and cut out the, the decal using my Cricut Maker. So I think that'll be the first step is we want to tease that out of here. I didn't get a chance to do that before um, coming on to the live. So I will do that now. I have to see where I cut it. I just have to cut along the bottom here. I don't want to cut my design out. Cut through my design, right? It says... It's a really pretty um, phrase or design that I found in Design Space. And we'll see it, I think, with the white. This is a white removable vinyl. I just cut it out and it says, Spring. Spring is here. Welcome all, welcome all new beginnings, which I really kind of like that, that expression. It just gives a lot of hope, right? With springtime, there's a lot of new beginnings, um, a lot of rejuvenation. So that's what we want to celebrate. Hey, Jen, you found me. How are you? I think you're the first chat that I actually have seen here on the YouTube. YouTube, <laughs> we're still learning how it's going. I know this YouTube live is new to me too, my friend. You're not alone. So um, I just thought we would try it out. Like I was mentioning, I've been really enjoying doing these lives over on Facebook. And then I feel like we're neglecting so many of our friends here on YouTube. So why not share the fun? And so I'm on here going to try to do this about once a week. I thought this would be fun to do in the afternoon. You know, when my kids are at school, I have a bit of quiet time, and then we can kind of chat and, and craft. Today I was planning, I had uh, full intentions of coming on about an hour ago, so noon Eastern time. And I think that's what I had said even last night on my Facebook Live. And then about 11.30 as I was getting ready, I got a call from the school 
that one of my littles is not feeling well. Can I come get her? So I kind of had to drop everything and go there. And she's upstairs now. So I don't know. Just they've had kind of this un unwellness. She just says she has a headache. And yeah, are you guys better, Jen? My goodness, I hope you're all feeling better and back to back to normal. I don't think we have that. I swabbed myself yesterday and it was negative because I too have not been feeling great. Just this kind of headachey, you know, low energy. So I wanted to make sure that it wasn't. I don't know. It's just maybe just allergies. <laughs> I'll say it's just allergies, right? Okay, so can you see the design is in there? Um, I hope I didn't lose any of the little bits. And I'm realizing now I didn't pull out my transfer paper to do this with. So I'm probably going to have to go rooting around for it. But let's see if there's a few little pieces to tease out. You're all better heading out this evening. Oh my gosh, so fun. Yay, good for you. You deserve that. You need a little <clears throat> time with friends. That sounds like the perfect way to spend the weekend. It's been a really, really long time since I've um, crafted with my girlfriends, but I get, I get that to do that with my mom and my sister um, when we're together. We, we didn't actually get to do as much of it as I was hoping over the Easter weekend, but we did eat a lot, which I think counts for something. So let me see. See, this is the problem. Over on, when we're on Facebook, um, I'm used to having my camera kind of a vertical, and then you can see me and the surface, but I haven't yet figured out here on YouTube, it seems everything is horizontal. So if anybody has any tips for <laughs> the best way to broadcast these for YouTube, uh, do let me know. I just, I'm not sure. My, my instinct is to go back to kind of the vertical um, because it just seems then you can see more, right? I can see who I'm talking to and uh, I know some people have almost two cameras set up, one for the face and one overhead. I haven't figured that out yet. Too technical for me. So, okay. So this is really fun. If you are not familiar with cutting out pieces on the Cricut and using the vinyl, so usually it's, the sheets come, um, you know, on these transfer transfer, they're not transfer, these are kind of the carrier sheets. And then the machine, um, I have, um, I'm fortunate I have the Cricut Maker 3. So just before I popped on, I sent the design from my phone straight to the machine and within a few minutes, it cut out this really beautiful uh, design on the white. And I just think the white will look really pretty against the black of the canister. Um, and I'm using a removable vinyl, so then if we want to, we can later change it out for a different season, for maybe summer, or even put a different greening on there. So I just have to go in now. I pulled off most of the kind of surrounding vinyl, but now I just am going in and pulling out all the little details in there. So do let me know if you have a Cricut machine. I know some of you do. Um, and we have a few videos on our YouTube channel for different tutorials using the various Cricut machines. So I was thinking to even cut it out on the, on the maker during the live. So hi everybody. But um, I didn't want to tempt the fates, as they say, because now I run it from my phone and the phone is the same one that I'm using for my live to talk to you. And so I can't kind of broadcast and do the cutting at the same time. And I knew if I tried to do the design cutting with my laptop that I would end up messing up the um, signal and then struggle with it. <laughs> that just seemed like that kind of day that that is what would happen to me. So I stuck with what I knew worked 
and was able to cut this out beforehand. If, if the vinyl was a nicer color than the white, then you this was actually very satisfying to watch the weeding process, but the white on white, I think all you guys are seeing is me picking at a piece of white paper, which is probably not so fun. So there we go. So I have my design, see? <laughs> you can't even see it, that's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. This is so funny, and then I don't even see the chat. Like, I don't know how to see. Oh, there we go, now I see the chat, okay. Okay, so we have that this piece cut out. No, where's my transfer paper? Here we go. And so the transfer paper, we stick the design onto, and then use that to transfer it to here because it's, all these little pieces. It's almost like a sticker, but if I tried to pull it off as a sticker, um, it would all kind of, I think, get damaged together. So we're gonna use the transfer paper. And I know that I'm kind of half in the screen and half not, and, and my phone is tilting sideways. Sorry guys, I will figure it out. It'll get better, right? We have to start somewhere. I wanted to start doing these lives and I may go back to, to vertical <laughs> because it seems kind of funny to have the top of my face cut off. There we go. So I just need a piece of transfer tape that's just larger than the design and then I'm going to transfer. So sometimes we can reuse the transfer tape from before, but I'm going to do a fresh one here. And let's do this one. I haven't actually done a Cricut project in a little while, so it's fun to be able to, to use my materials and everything. Um, we've been working with, with the Cricut machine for a few years, we have the original Cricut Maker, and we had the Cricut Joy, um, but this Cricut Maker 3, I feel like I'm using so much more than I ever was the other machines because they call this, um, so this is the roll of smart vinyl, they call, which means you can load this vinyl right into the machine. You don't need a, um, a mat. So it's such a game changer for me because whenever I just want to cut something quickly, I pull this out and feed it in and run it from my phone and in no time, I have whatever design I want to make. So that's really cool. If you are thinking of um, getting yourself a Cricut Maker, I think you can still get, they are still selling the original Maker, I think just until their supply runs out. But I would highly recommend like, upgrading to the Maker 3 if you um, haven't gotten one before. So this is like a very sticky transfer tape. We're going to just kind of, I like to get some of the stick off of it or else I end up not being able to transfer the design from one surface to the other. So I'm going to just put this over top, my image. And I just need it now to kind of grab on to that vinyl. I'm going to use, turn this over. And we'll just kind of press that on there. And hopefully this is the part that I struggle with the most. I don't know about you guys too. But sometimes the, the vinyl doesn't want to go transfer to the transfer sheet. And then once it's on the transfer sheet, it doesn't want to come off just a little bit of patience and then you have this really pretty design to dress up you know something something plain so this piece like I said my mother-in-law she likes to go to the value village and it was $5.99 so you can see here and then she got it for 30% off so that's $5.99 Canadian so under you know, about $4 we have this really fun, and it's in pretty good shape. It has a few scratches. There's no, I don't know what brand it is or anything or where it would have come from, but it just seemed like it would be really nice to have 
um, an arrangement for my front porch. I'm kind of struggling right now because it's pretty blah, bland, and it's too cold yet to put fresh flowers. So we're going to make this arrangement with just some branches and this cute phrase. Let's see if it'll come off now. So hi everybody, do say hi as you're joining. See, I always, it's like, doesn't want to come off. There we go, this side has started. So, hopefully, we'll keep going. I'm Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit. I'm new to YouTube Live Crafting, so thank you for popping in and saying hi. Do let me know where you're watching from. I'm outside of Toronto, Canada, and my sister Sonia and I have had the Sustain My Craft Habit YouTube channel since 2015. So I know some of our followers have been with us from the very, very beginning days of our early blogging crafting journey. So it's really fun now to be able to connect, connect live with all of you. Let me see, it's coming along slowly. So little by little, we're just trying to get this transferred on. Here, there we go. Oh my goodness, this piece did not want to. Come on, friend, cooperate. The vinyl, the vinyl uh, fairies are not cooperating with me today. <laughs> we'll get there. It just does take time, you know? Sometimes I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this wrong because it's not working, but it really just, uh, it takes a bit of time and finessing, I think, to get it. See, I'm almost there. Just if I can just get this last little section to cooperate, then we'll be good. Then we'll be good, come on. And obviously the more intricate the design, the more finessing it needs. Oh, Lordy. I, whenever I do this live, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I, I'm sure I'm making it so convincing that everybody needs a cricket machine. Not like that's my goal, but man, almost, come on. There we go. So this guy kind of popped up on me. Get down there. See, it's sticking to me now, but it won't stick to the transfer tape. Okay. So I think now we'll be able to find our side. I think we're going to do this a little bit off to the front. Let's take off the price tag. I like the handle, so I want the handle to be in, in our design or in our piece, but I don't want the seam. So let's try to Turn it that way. This guy is bugging me. He didn't. It's going to be all. Come on. There we go. Okay. So hopefully, I don't know if it's it backwards for you guys. Let me just try to get it lined up and straight. So see how pretty that white is going to stand out um, from the black? I'm just gonna turn it to me just to make sure that it's centered properly. And there we go. So we're gonna start kind of from our center and work our way outward. And hopefully get the design to stick now to the metal surface. Again, once we start a couple spots, there we go. There we go. So how is everybody doing? How is the weather where you are? We are uh, enjoying sunshine today and hoping for a bit of warmth after a snowfall on Monday, which was not welcome, but the snow is already gone. So it is, it's kind of this funny time 
in, um, in Canada and probably the north. It's cold here in Wisconsin. Ugh, I know. Even my friend Kippy, who's in um, Florida, was saying she's wearing a sweater because it's cold down there, too. So, come on, little guy. Get on there. So it's funny, you think this is just going to be a simple craft for lunchtime, you know, put on a design, but it still needs, it needs a bit of time and patience. And I probably picked, I always pick a more complicated design than I need to. <laughs> right? Like, why I couldn't have picked something like Hello Spring. No, I had to pick something with all these little curves and nooks but then it won't it'll look nicer when it's done I think it'll be a really pretty design so this one says welcome all new beginnings which is really lovely sentiment let me just give it a try okay that's good it's coming along there we go uh oh. Halfway. There's a little dot. Okay. I mean, another option if you don't have a Cricut machine, if you want to do something like this, would be with a stencil or to hand paint it if you are artistically inclined. I'm not. I like to do lettering, like my own lettering sometimes, but it's never quite this pretty or con like consistent. So it's coming almost down here. Luckily, the, the next part, I think, will not take too long. I have just some branches and some painted pine cones. There we go. I'll get that on there. Beautiful. Finally. Oh, my goodness. So it says, yeah, let me see if I can flip you guys around. I think it's... Um, <laughs> no, I haven't figured out how to flip it around, but... It says, spring is here. Welcome all the new beginnings. This is so pretty, right? To have on the front porch as somebody is coming to say hello on the porch. So that's the top for that part. And then on the inside, so maybe I'll just actually put it back here so you can see a little bit further back. But I have just a jar of various branches. These are... I think um, from the dogwood, dogwood tree. And we pick them even in the winter. So I just put them in like a jar and we're going to put the whole jar like this into here because this piece is pretty light and I worry when it gets windy yikes, that it'll flop over. So that jar will give it a little bit of weight. And there we go, so we have our branches. Oh, these ones are kind of just cut. You don't want those. So there, even just like that, something natural, you know, a few branches. But we need a little bit of color for spring. So I have these. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then I have a few of these ones from the, the pussy willow tree. So we can kind of tuck them in for a little bit of texture. I'm still here with me, my friends. <laughs> I can't see you from way over there. I think I'm sideways. I think I'm going to try. Definitely the next one will be um, with the camera vertical because this is just feels very odd to have my head cut off. So let me put a few, tuck a few more of these in there. Lordy, things are falling over. Let's tuck those in. So it looks like it's a long branch, but they're pretty short. But that's okay. We'll just kind of be tucked in here with the other branches. 
And I love the green and the red of these branches, the dogwood. They're two different varieties, so it just gives it a little bit of color. I had this sitting up in my dining room, actually, for the longest time, just this pile, because it gives a lot of height, right? A lot of height. Okay, and then, of course, I did not plug in my glue gun, but let's do that now. And I have a bunch of these pine cones that are painted and cut. So I, I was thinking to use these really pretty yellow and white ones, which are nice for spring. You could also do pink ones. And I mean, you could do this with full flowers too anything like that. But the nice thing about this is that pine cones are meant to be outside, um, so they should be okay and they won't get damaged by the elements. So we're just going to, there's about two or three different varieties in here and the pine cones are simply cut with some snippers and then painted. My mom painted all of these. So we, um, she painted a lot of them white. They're like daisies. She has them, actually. She has her own Etsy shop, and she sells pine cones, both raw and some of these painted ones. So then she gave me some. Look how pretty this one is, like a little daisy, the yellow with the white on the inside. So let me just, I just need another minute. And then the, this variety are a smaller one, but look how pretty those ones are, like little florets. And you can do all sorts of crafting with these painted pine cones. And we have some videos with different things. You can make pine cone flowers and we'll do something again for probably Mother's Day. I love, like look how pretty. Here's, I think, I wish I had a few more of these painted pink ones because the pink and white and yellow just seem perfect for springtime. So maybe afterwards I'll paint a few more of the pink ones. But let's see if I can get this guy if he's warmed up enough. I don't know. I always forget to plug it in beforehand. So we're just going to take our hot glue, if it would go, and then kind of, you know, glue, glue the various pine cones. You probably want to be closer in here to where the, the branches are a bit heavier for a bit more stability. Maybe one more glue gun in there. Tonight I will be back on our Facebook page um, for a live craft. And one of the pieces I'm thinking of is I forgot to show you this. This one my mother-in-law also got at the same time at the thrift store for look $6.99. And it says, um, what does it say? Pearl manufactured by Canadian woodware, woodenware. I'm gonna have to Google that to see if I can find this company, but it's like a washing board and it's still kind of soapy. I have to wash it off, but it's got some water damage here on the side. So I was thinking to paint it or stain it like a darker color and then the two pieces could go, go together. I'm not yet sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm thinking to decoupage a design onto this. It's actually a glass part. So if you have any ideas, do let me know what you think we should do with that one. But I'm thinking this will be part of our craft for tonight over on Facebook, on Sustain My Craft Habits Facebook page. And then we're also going to finish the little jewelry box that we started last night. That was turned out so cute. So, okay, we're just going to tuck this guy in here. I think this is going to be so festive. Greeting, greeting um, visitors as they come to our front door. And then as it gets warmer, I can even change out the types of flowers for something that's more summer, summer-like rather than spring. But, yeah. Let me just do a few more in here and you can make it as full or just with just a few of these pine cone flowers or with lots of them, whichever you'd like or different shapes and colors. I love this yellow and 
white color scheme now for her spring. But you could also make them purples and blues like pansies and other other types of whatever your favorite colors are, whatever color scheme goes with your porch. There we go. Add a few more. I know I was so excited to be home today. My husband actually had to go to work out in his office today, you know, which is pretty rare. So I had the whole house to myself. And then the school called to get my one of my daughters to, to, get to bring her home. <laughs> so she's just upstairs. She's resting. She'll be okay. It just needs one more day at home. Let me see. Add this guy up here. Pretty. I love it. This will go just now as a bit of a placeholder until we can get the live, live plants and flowers on the porch. So I do hope you enjoying this live crafting here on YouTube. I will be back. Like I said, I'm going to try to make this a Wednesday kind of lunchtime recurring um, session. So definitely come back and if I'll post in the community tab the day before to just confirm. And then I'd love to see you if you are here. And always as well over on our Facebook page. So there we go. So, so cute. Should I add some of the pink little flowers in there? Maybe. I wasn't going to, but I think a little, like, like we said, a little bit of color is what we need now. Hopefully that guy won't fall off. So pretty. Add a few more in here. The smaller ones are okay to go farther to the tips because they won't weigh things down. But yeah, I love that the combination of the the pussy willows with the flowers, and then we did the canister. So I hope you you like that. I know it's hard to see. Maybe I'll just turn the camera a little bit so you can see the whole the whole piece <laughs> there we go that's better rotation is locked oh my gosh <laughs> so there we go you kind of see it this way it's pretty tall i'm going to try the next live vertical hopefully it'll be a little bit easier because i know it's all tilted thank you jen thank you so much I think it's so cute. Well, at least you guys see the messiness that I have happening back in here. It's it's reality. <laughs> it's a real life. I need to do a little bit of organization of the craft room, but I'm sure I'm not the only one. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. I hope you like this, and I will be back next Wednesday live here on YouTube, um, and then tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time on our Sustain My Craft Habit Facebook page. If you like this live crafting, we'd love for you to stop by. Okay, everybody, have a wonderful afternoon. Take care. Bye. Oh, wait, uh, sorry, let me see. Hi, Lisa. Did your friend from Kippy ever work for American Airlines? No, Kippy's not a redhead, so I don't think she ever worked for an airline. She was a teacher for the longest time. But I know that's such a unique name, right, Kippy? Let me see. You know, the chat, I'm, I can't see, where is it? Oh, now I'm seeing everybody here. Oh, there's my mom. Hi, Bakavi. Oh, thank you. Hi, Mohit. Oh, my goodness. You guys are so, so sweet. Thank you. So fun. Okay, bye, everybody. Take care. I have to figure out <laughs> how to turn off the broadcast. My gosh. Are you sure you want? Yes.